Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. This tutorial will look at creating a lookup for pictures within Excel. Now what we've got on screen at the moment is we've got three pictures. We have an Excel, a PowerPoint and a Word icon. And in cell A2 uh, I have a search for the application that I'd like with hopefully the appropriate picture showing. So we can see in A2 here, it currently says Excel. If I change it to Word, at the moment nothing happens. What we're looking to do is I want to be able to change the Word there and for it to show the required picture uh, just below what I'm in at the moment. One thing that's already set up here is if I click on my Word icon, I can see that it's already been assigned the name Word. Same for PowerPoint here and the same for Excel which was done literally just by typing it in. I can also see that on the picture tools tab, here on this format tab, that the sizes are also the same. It's 2.43 centimeters, slight difference in the width there that maybe I, I could have solved, but it's so close I'm not gonna to worry too much. So everything's fairly similar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move the pictures across so that each one overlaps the other so that when the required word is entered, currently as it happens is word, uh, the appropriate picture will show. Now for this I want this to be run via a button. So I'm going to use my developer tab, I'm going to click insert and I'm going to insert a button. I'm going to draw this onto my sheet, about that high, and it's going to ask me what macro I'd like to assign to it. Now, as you can see at the moment, I don't have any macros. I haven't created it as yet, so I'm going to cancel this screen, and I'll come back to this point. Ideally, if it was already set up, it would have been a much easier process. I'm also just going to change the text here to say picture. So somebody knows if they click on that, it will show the picture. I'm just going to turn it bold for a nice effect, or I think is a nice effect. Okay, uh, now it's time for the macro. We need a bit of code, so if I click this button, it will look at A2 and show the necessary picture. Let's go to my developer tab, and I want to view the Visual Basic Editor, which also can be done from Alt and F11, as it shows me there. And this is it. Now I'm going to insert a new module. So insert module, and in module one, currently visible, I'm going to paste in some code. So paste in some VBA code that was already created, which I'm going to use for this macro, for our lookup. I need to put this into a sub procedure. So I'm just going to type sub above that, and just choose a name which I guess a good name would be show picture. And I'll just move this end sub, a bit of cut and paste. I'll put this just below the end of it. So I've created my own sub procedure or macro. And you can see this VBA code is it's creating a variable, which is gonna call app pick, uh, application picture. So you're gonna look at the sheets one tab and use a kind of collection uh, to tell all the uh, the pictures at the moment to be visible. That's actually incorrect. I didn't realise I'd done that, but I'll uh, I'll just switch that to false uh, to hide all the pictures. We then have a for loop, uh, which says for each picture uh, in sheet one, that to go through to hold it in that variable, go for each picture in sheet one, check if the name of the picture matches the text entered in cell A2, and if it does, make it visible. If it doesn't, then move on to the next picture. Okay, I'm gonna close down the Visual Basic Editor, and the next step would be to assign the macro now to the button, which I can do by right-clicking. There's my show picture macro, and I'll assign it. And that should be what we need. Hopefully, if I click on my button now, Nothing's really going to happen because I'm showing the word picture for the word text. But if I click Excel, 
or sorry, enter Excel, and then click the button, have an Excel picture, and PowerPoint, PowerPoint picture, and finally back to Word, we have a Word picture. And there we go, uh, we have a lookup for pictures within Excel. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please check out other stuff at computergargard.com. Plenty of tutorials, uh, plenty of quizzes and guides and stuff to become gurus in all that is Microsoft Office.